What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, it is the day before Easter. It is early. I'm trying to pound some coffee to wake up. Um, I got nothing done to Leaky this week. Like I had planned, the week just got away from me. So, today I'm going to get the fender painted at the very least. We're going to attempt to get some wiring done. Um, I did get the master cylinder put on, but I have not plumbed it yet. Let me flip the camera around. There's the master cylinder. I just need to take the line off and go through bleeding the brakes and all that fun stuff. I'll get the fender off here in a little bit and battery pulled out so we can go ahead and get as much of this done today. I only have I only have about six or seven hours before I gotta be out of the shop. Got a family Easter thing to do today. So I guess I better shut up and let's get into the work. All right, so I got the uh, fender hung up there. I've been using this fender for the last six months, so there's rust and street grime in there. I'm gonna go in, wire wheel it all out. You hear my air compressor running, I'm also gonna be using the uh, Wizzy wheel. Uh, safety glasses, keep yourself safe. Uh, so, it's probably gonna be time lapse. Now that I've got that all cleaned up, I'm gonna take some acetone in my Sure Shot and a clean rag and just degrease everything before I spray primer on this. Alrighty, so it's all primed, so now I'm going to hit it with some semi-gloss black. My only concern here is this says professional grade, and hell, I'm not even an amateur. I'm just some moron on YouTube that you're watching, so does that make you a bigger moron than it makes me? I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to hit it with some semi-gloss black. Alrighty, so I've got two coats of primer, three coats of gloss black on there. I haven't shown every coat because it's redundant. Who wants to see that? So, if you watch the original video where I painted the rest of the bike, you'll know that it is full of metal flake, red metal flake. And that is this right here. This is Custom Cans. This is the Rainbow XL Red. I got this on eBay. It's a little bit pricey. It's like 25 bucks a can, but man, it, it really looks good for, especially for some rattle cans. So. I'm gonna put on two, maybe three coats of this, and then after that we'll clear things and we'll see where we're at from there. All right guys, so I've got three coats of the flake on. Let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna kinda try to backlight this with a flashlight and show you guys what it looks like. And there we go, yeah. real good right there. So there's that. What I'm gonna do now, I have this Dupla Color 1K clear coat. I'm gonna spray that 
do several coats of that and then the spender will be done. Now I know I haven't done any wet sanding this or that. This bike gets rode like crazy. This paint is gonna get screwed up. That's why I didn't pay a bunch of money to paint this bike. It's all rattle can and I do it myself. But uh, it holds up moderately well. I've had that tank, I'm what, the oil tank and the gas tank I painted well over a year ago and they're still going strong. So I know some of you are probably gonna be hitting the keyboard telling me that I did this paint all wrong. That's good, I'm not a professional painter. Never said I was. So this, I'm just showing you guys how I do my stuff. If I was building this for somebody else, I would send the stuff out to paint, but I just really don't care. So I'll throw you guys on the tripod and start spraying some clear. The wiring, I don't think I'm gonna get done today. I'm gonna come back up tomorrow and probably tomorrow after lunch and get the wiring done that way because I did some touch-ups on the frame. Let's head over there. I just, again, rattle can touch up the the frame. This was all exposed where I've made some changes and got all that touched up. So I'm gonna let this paint dry overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back in here and get all that wired up. But you guys won't notice any difference because you'll see it right about now. Alrighty, so it's the next day. It's uh, Easter Sunday, just got up to the shop and I'm gonna go ahead and get this wiring sorted out. Before I do that, let's take a look at this fender. Came out beautiful. I don't know how good that's coming through on camera, but the sunlight hitting it, you can see all the red. Looks really good. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I gotta get all the wiring done over here, the spaghetti monster. I intentionally left it like this. When I built this bike, I knew that I was gonna be changing stuff. So let me flip this around. This is the spaghetti monster of wiring right there. And basically I'm just gonna shorten it all so it's no longer like that. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut open this right here. This is all my hot side wiring. After I get this cut open and start shortening all this, all my grounds, I'm gonna take all these, shorten them, and they're all gonna go to body ground. So I will only have two connections at the battery rather than all the connections that I currently have. And then I need to simplify the brake light wiring and that will all be pretty good to go. Okay, so I didn't film me doing this, I just did it. But this brake switch was mounted to the master. It is now mounted to the caliper itself, and this will just shorten a bunch of wiring, plus I'm not gonna have anything running under the bike that could possibly be damaged by the chain or ground debris. Um, so I've got this shortened, but that's not tucked yet. Now I need to figure out these grounds. So I'm gonna cut this open and see where I can run those grounds next. So before, I had two hots running back here. I had one for the brake light switch and one for the running light. Now I'm only gonna have one hot running back here. It's gonna run into the brake light switch. That hot will Y off to the running light, and then I'll still have my brake light wire as well, so. And then for the ground for the brake light, it's all gonna be self-grounding, so no more wires. We've got all this right here cleaned up pretty dang well, and that's all done. So all I have left is the brake light, and then I can throw this bike back together, and we should be ready to go. So I'm not sure how much wire I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna cut more than what I could possibly need. That way, when I get to the end, I can just trim it up rather than find out I didn't run enough. So to make my Y, I'm gonna take these two wires, Put them into this connector together and crimp that. And these are weatherproof connectors. Alrighty, so I put the sissy bar on. I got this back from powder coat a few weeks ago. Looks good. But uh, I had to grind a little bit of powder coat off the back of this. Don't find that right there. Um, and I just verified with my multimeter that I have good ground here. And the reason 
I did everything to make sure I have good ground there. I, uh, by grinding that little bit of powder coat off on the back, is my tail light will be self-grounded through the sissy bar. I don't have to run a ground wire. I only have to run the two hots, which I have right here. And I have a blue piece of tape on my one. That will be my brake light. This is my switch power. And this is my constant power. So running light and the one with the blue will be the brake light. Well, I didn't, uh, I had the camera turned on, but I never pressed play. I got the tail light mounted and it works. Literally all I have left to do to this bike is put the tins on and I can go ride it. And I just dropped the lens for the tail light and it broke into a million pieces. So <sighs> very frustrating, but I guess the build goes on. Let me finish what I'm doing. Get the tins on. The bike's pretty much done. Let me show you guys the tail light real quick. It's got a running light. Then when I press the brakes, it's got a brake light. One thing I don't have is a lens. So I guess I'll order one of these, see if I can even find one. And hopefully it'll be here this week because that sissy bar bracket, I, or this, that tail light bracket, I modified specifically for that tail light. So, I gotta make it work. The bike is all put together and getting the tank on was a little, little bit of a pain. It used to not be, but with these new bars, you just don't have a whole lot of room to get on that front bolt. But I got it and I also got the lens for the taillight ordered lowbrow. Thankfully had one in stock. So that should be here this week. So you choke is pulled. Let's see if she will run or if I screwed up. up it is idling incredibly high so um, I did move this cable rerouted it so perhaps that left me with some kind of issue as far as uh, the tightness of the cable but that's easy to adjust uh, I'm gonna get that adjusted and then I'm gonna take this thing around the block and make sure everything feels good because uh, obviously we got a new front master cylinder and the Rear brakes have been bled, front brakes have been bled. Everything should be good, but gotta test ride it. So, so got the idle all sorted out. I guess just new bars, the new angle. But there she goes. Oh, so I just took it, just did two laps around the block, and uh, the first thing you notice with these really narrow bars is how heavy the bike is. The steering feel is completely different. It's a very heavy steering feel. It's not bad. It's just different. So I'll flip the camera around and see if we can capture this all lit up in the sun.
So as you guys see, the spaghetti monster is gone. We got a nice small little bundle of wiring there. All the excess wiring is gone. Rear fender's painted. The sissy bar's been powder coated. The only thing we're waiting on now is a lens for this tail light. Other than that, I'm pretty much, I think, knock on wood, officially done with this bike. I think anything from this point forward with it will probably just be maintenance and traveling around and just enjoying the bike. So, who knows, it's a chopper. They say choppers are never done. Who knows if this bike is done or not. But right now, in my mind, it is done. But that's gonna pretty much wrap this video up. If I can get you guys to do me a huge favor, give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And while you're down there, in the description box is links to all of my social media as well as our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we make and sell everything for horses. I love each and every one of you. I will see you in the next one. I'm out of here.